Okay, so I'm starting off with applying a foundation, which is probably about two shades too light. A little gray, a little ashy. Um, I actually wish I would have went a little bit lighter, but it worked out in the end. But I do wish I would have went a little bit lighter. So if you are doing this, try to go like three shades lighter than your foundation, maybe even a little bit more gray. Um, next, I'm going to go in with a kind of reddish... Um, eyeshadow. I don't remember which one I use, but it really doesn't matter which one you use. This look is going to be pretty messy, pretty not organized at all. And then I'm going to go in with some black eyeliner and I'm just going to apply that to my lid and just messily blend it out um, underneath my eye and above my eye as well. And I pretty much go back and forth between the red and this um, liner. And I do, I don't remember if I do set this with a black eyeshadow when I start doing some more blending. Next, I'm going to go in with a kind of reddish, bluish kind of color. And I'm just going to apply that to my lips. But then I just end up going back over it with um, all black and kind of messily blending it on my lips. Um, just so that they're a lot darker um i know that sometimes when you're filming and you look back at your video you kind of wish you would have did different things but nonetheless you can kind of make this look however you want um and i just added a little bit of red into the center of the lips now i'm going to go in and create some kind of veiny cracking i don't know how to describe it um kind of veins um around my eye and over my lips um this part is a little time consuming but it's worth it in the end and i just do the same thing around my mouth as well i was gonna do this look on both eyes but i kind of wanted to do something a little bit different um so i do go in and blend out some um red and kind of set that black with some black shadow um, and just to make it a little bit more defined and a little bit more pigmented and I just go in in random places with the black shadow and just dust that around the, the veins that I did apply nothing too too serious or too uh, calculated so to speak next I went in and covered my eye with some medical tape um, you can make your own eye patch if you want which I did do that in my last video I did last year for Halloween but this one I kind of wanted I didn't want it to look like it was kind of wanted to look a little more sunken I guess so I used medical tape just so that it's more flush with my skin and then I apply some black liner on top of that next I'm gonna go in with some third degree which oh my gosh what Goldie Starling here on YouTube I don't know if you guys watch her she does a lot of FX FXX F F X makeup looks here on YouTube. I've been watching her for years and she was the first person that put me on to third degree and this thing is like my new best friend. Like, I mean, ugh, it's amazing. It's an amazing product if you do um, these types of looks and just sculpting and all that kind of stuff. I just love it and I just mixed it with a little bit of my red grease paint to give it the red color. And then I also mixed it with my foundation shade as well and mixed it. I mean, this thing is just so multi-purpose. I had it for years and I, I just never used it because I was afraid to use it. But I'm like, oh my gosh, this is like the easiest product to work with. You just have to work not super quick because it does take about like five to seven minutes to set. But it's just so bomb. Um, and then I go in and it kind of... Um, messily smooth out those edges and I applied a little bit of oil to the back of my brush to make it a little bit easier um, next I'm gonna go in with a brown shade around the edges and I also go in with black just to make it look a little just a little give it a little bit more depth into those little crevices that I have there and then I kind of finish out this look with some you know blood I really use um, only scab blood and dark stage blood I feel like those two kind of really went with this look I didn't really need like the bright red blood because I already had the bright red um, mixed in with a third degree that kind of gave it a little bit of dimension so I really really liked this look it was super fun I'm definitely gonna be using this third degree a lot more often and it's bomb so I hope you guys enjoy this look I guess I mean Side note, just a thing about these contacts. I cannot see anything 
with one eye covered and these eye contacts in. So if you guys do plan on wearing this look out, don't wear the white contact or do one or the other, but don't do both because I definitely could not see anything with these contacts in my eye. Just an FYI. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next one. Two more Halloween videos to go. Bye.